DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic Design is one of the best professional video editing programs out there. But the thing is, if you go to the official website, you'll only be able to find the official installer for macOS, Windows, and the two Linux distros, Red Hat and CentOS. But if you're using a Debian-based Linux distro, then you're out of luck. Well, actually you're not, because in this episode, I'm gonna show you how you can install DaVinci Resolve in a Debian-based system using the official installer. And this process will also work on most other Debian-based operating systems. So distros like Pop! OS or Elementary or Mint or any of the Ubuntu's from 16 and upwards, this will actually work there. So let's get right into it. Righty hell then. So the first thing to do is to of course download the official installer. So I'll open up a web browser and then a new tab and do a search for DaVinci Resolve. and the Blackmagic Design website, that's where you'll find the official installer. And I'll just scroll down a little bit and here is the download now button, so I'll click that. And this process actually works also for the studio version, so if you've actually paid for DaVinci Resolve and you wanna use it on a Linux system, then this process will work for you as well. But I'm going to install DaVinci Resolve 17, the Linux version, so I'll click that. And then fill in my deets, and then click register and download. So I'll just save this to my downloads folder. Right, so that's finished downloading. Let's jump into the downloads folder. I'll just move this to the left as well. And then let's extract the folder. So I'll just extract it here. And so while that's extracting, I'll just move this up here. And then let's now download an awesome program that will actually allow us to turn this installer into a Debian package. So if you just do a search for make resolve deb, all one word. And this website here by Daniel Tufferson, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. We're gonna download this latest version here. So I'll just click download and then also place that in my downloads folder. So while that's downloading, I'm just gonna give a shout out to Daniel. Thank you so much for putting this together. This is absolutely brilliant. So tip my hat to you and thank you again. Cool, so that's downloaded. Let's jump back to the downloads folder and extract the file. Cool, and then move this bash script into the same folder that we extracted earlier, which is the DaVinci Resolve folder. And if I open that folder up now, you'll see that we have the bash script in with the DaVinci Resolve program. Cool, so the next step, if I just minimize this window here and my web browser, so let's open a terminal window and I'll just move this to the right a little bit and expand the window. And then to install the dependencies, just type in the command sudo apt install. And then the first dependency is called libssl 1.1. Then put a space in and then type in ocl hyphen icd hyphen opencl hyphen dev then put a space in, and then the third dependency is called Zeriso, spelled with an X. Then the final dependency is fake root. And then throw in your password. Yes to continue. So this shouldn't take too long to do, so I'll just speed this a little bit up. Fantastic, that's completed, so I'll just clear 
the terminal window. So what we're going to do now in terminal is to enter the DaVinci Resolve folder. So I'll change directory firstly into the downloads folder and then I'll just type in ls to list what's in the folder. And so this is the folder here so I'll just copy that and then type in change directory to that folder. Cool, now that we're in the folder, I'll just list what's in the folder. And now the next step, we're actually gonna create a deb file or an installer out of this file here, which is the .run file. So to do that, type in dot forward slash and then copy the make resolve deb bash script name. So I'll just copy that and then paste it after the forward slash and then put a space in and then copy and paste the DaVinci Resolve run file name cool and then simply press enter so that's now converting the file into the dev package so I see app image launcher has been launched so I'll click integrate and run so this will take a few minutes for the dev package to be created. So I'll fast forward this bit and then rejoin you once this has completed. Brilliant, so that's completed. Now, if you manage to get no errors reported, then success, you are good. So let's just list what's in this folder now. And lo and behold, we have a deb package. So how cool is that? So either you can install it using your terminal or you can simply go into your folder and I'll just show you here and just double click this deb package here. So let's now install it from the terminal by running a sudo deb package or d package followed by hyphen i to install and then after a space, let's just copy and paste the deb package name. So copy, paste, and then click enter. Throw in your password. And there we go, the installation has commenced. So I'll fast forward this a little bit and rejoin you once the installation has completed. Right, and we're done. So let's exit out of the terminal now. And do a quick bit of housekeeping. So the first thing I'll do is actually add the launcher to my panel. And I'll just go to items, add an item, which is a launcher. And then get the launcher, move it up one and then edit the launcher and add DaVinci Resolve here it is there and close and close and now let's launch DaVinci Resolve And as you can see, we're running DaVinci 17.3. So I'll just press continue and then quick setup. And it's saying that my graphics card may not be powerful enough for heavy color correction work, but I don't do too much color correction. So I'll just click continue and then continue and continue, continue and start. Now if you actually get stuck on the splash screen then you may have issues with not having a graphics card that is compatible but I'm actually using an Nvidia GeForce graphics card in this computer so it actually does work. And there we go, so I now have DaVinci Resolve running on my Linux system. So I hope you were also successful in installing it on your system. 
and if you liked the video then please just jump into my channel and like the video or subscribe if you haven't turn on the notifications if you'd like to be prompted about any other videos that i'm about to put out and if this process worked for you then please just let me know in the comments i'd love to hear of your success or if you had any issues then just pop that in the comments too and either myself or someone else in the comments may be able to help you and so for now take care and i'll see you soon